Now it's time to talk about the derivatives of the inverse trig functions. And there are six of them. There's the inverse sine function, inverse cosine, and inverse tangent. And then also the inverse cosecant, the inverse secant, and the inverse tangent function. We've also uh, already differentiated the six trig functions. And now it's time to differentiate the inverse trig functions. And to do this, we need to know, know some things about inverse functions, which we've covered, as well as implicit differentiation, which we've also covered. So we'll use both of those concepts to do this. And we'll start off with the inverse tangent function. So we're going to try to differentiate the inverse tangent. So here's the problem. Y is the inverse tangent of x find dy dx. So in other words, find the derivative of the inverse tangent function. So here's how we'll do it. We'll start with what we're given, y equals tangent, excuse me, y equals inverse tangent of x, and we simply take the tangent of each side. So the tangent of the left side gives us tangent y, and the tangent of the right side, of course, just gives us x because the tangent of the inverse tangent of x is just x. So we have this tangent of y equals x. Now written this way y is no longer explicitly a function of x but it is a function of x implicitly. We could take this and solve it again to put it back in that form solve it for y but we have it here as an implicit function and we can use implicit differentiation. So I'm going to take it in this form and take the derivative with respect to x on each side. And don't forget the chain rule. So over here on the left, I'm going to take the derivative of tangent y. Well, the derivative of the tangent function is secant squared. So the left side is secant squared y times the derivative of my inner function. And the derivative of y is just dy dx, or we'll write it as y primed. So this is the derivative of that. The derivative of the left side done implicitly. And then the derivative of the right side, the derivative of x, is just 1. So now we can solve this algebraically for y primed. y primed is 1 over secant squared y. Okay, now, now you, it, it kind of looks like we're done. You might think we're finished here because we have now found y primed. We were given some original function y and told to find the derivative, and here it is. But notice the original function here was given in terms of x. So it would make sense to give our answer here in terms of x instead of terms of y right there. So what do we do next? I'm going to use a trig identity. And this is the trig identity that comes in handy here. 1 plus tangent squared y equals secant squared y. So I'm going to take that and apply that concept right here. So basically I'll just take 1 plus tangent squared y and substitute it in there. So let's write that. Let's write y primed equals 1 over 1 plus tangent squared y. And how does that help? Because, well let me write that a little bit more neatly, tangent squared y if you look back up here, tangent of y is simply x. So this right here, tangent of y squared, is just x squared. So this is now 1 over 1 plus x squared, and we're done. That's our answer. If you wanted to, you could write it with the, the standard notation. You could say the derivative with respect to x of the inverse tangent function is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And that's it. We have now differentiated the inverse tangent function.